Hi, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. And if you're watching this, chances are you work with somebody who is using a product called Madcap Flare and Madcap Central, and they want to send you uh, reviews of their documentation because you're cool. You have information they need. They want to get your feedback on that. So hopefully they have already invited you to their Madcap Central license and you've got a password and uh, maybe even set up your profile with your avatar, whatever. And they want to send you something to review. So what's going to happen when they do this is you're going to get an email and there's just a link on there. It's a legit email. It's going to come from Madcap uh, Central. Uh, no one's trying to sell you a timeshare or anything like that. So you click on this link and you're going to open up Madcap Central. And it should look something like this. And you are logged in and you're Marge Gunderson in this case. You're going to see over here, there is this uh, little pane and this has a package in it. And you might have several packages if they send you more than one. And they want you to review this. So all you need to do is click on this thing and it's going to open up like this. And if you look in this, you're going to see, all right, these are the files that this person wants me to look at. You can even see other people that they've sent this to for review. Now, here's something that's kind of cool. You might want to click this little icon right here. And if the person who sent you this review included a TOC, it'll be shown right in here. And so you can kind of see the structure of uh, the output that, that they want you to look at. So this kind of gives you some context in here. They sent you, these are topics, three topics they want you to review. And it has to do with music in this case. So maybe you look at them in this order because this is the order that they're intended to be read in the output. So what you do is you just open this up. Here's the first one, this is a topic. And you just can click in here, it's pretty self-explanatory, and you can just start making um, edits in here. All right, so just type a little bit and you can see it's automatically tracked. And it, this lets you know if you hover over this, it points to the change with your initials so they know that's coming from you. And there are all different kinds of things that you can do in here. Uh, some basic formatting and editing. If you look up here at the toolbar, you can also maybe select some text and insert an annotation, just a comment in here. So uh, comment from Marge, whatever you want. Okay. And as you look across here, you can do, again, basic editing in here. You can do, make things bold, italic, underline. You can change the style of things. You can create bulleted lists, numbered lists. Uh, this is another kind of list. It's called a definition list. Uh, you can indent, uh, increase the indent, decrease the indent. You can insert images. You can hover over this uh, like this. Come down here, hover over this and insert a table and just start putting content in there. So very, very easy to understand in this editor. And when you're all done making changes, you just click Submit. And you're all done with it. I'm going to come down here to another topic. And you would do the same thing. And maybe you don't make any changes at all. That's OK. You can just click Submit on that. Come down to the final one. Now this has got some more in it. I wanna show you a couple of things. Number one, if you click, start clicking on content, you're gonna see this info bar. So this tells you what you've clicked on. In this case, it's a heading in H1. Click below that, a P for a paragraph, all right? Come down here and click on this image, IMP and an IMG, an image within that. So that's what's going on in here. And you're gonna see certain things sometimes like uh, th there are a couple of stars up in here. You don't need to worry about that. Those things are called markers. That's for the author to worry about. Now, sometimes you might see content like this thing right here. It has a border around it, just looks different. And you click in it and you immediately realize, I can't click in this and type anything. Well, that's because this is actually a file 
a separate file within this file. This thing is called a snippet. And if the author wants you to be able to edit this thing, then you'll be able to click on it and you just click this button right here. It opens it up in a pop-up and you can actually click that to reduce the size if you want. And you can add whatever changes you want. Um, so it could be text, it could be anything that you add to a topic. But this pop-up allows you to make edits to this as you're kind of going through the flow of the topic without interrupting anything. You make your changes and you just click Submit. And then you close it. You might not see the changes immediately in this view, but they are in this file. And maybe I want to do a few more things in here. Maybe I want to click on this and it says, oh, that's an H2. Maybe you want to make that an H3. Do it like that. And as other reviewers, as you saw, there were a couple of other reviewers, they could be working on this at the same time as you. So you might see their changes happening and little boxes over here with their initials. So you can see what's going on and you can collaborate with them. And then when you're all done with this, you just click Submit. And you're basically done with that package. You want to navigate back. You come back here, click on Pending. Well, it's gone now. That's because you submitted everything within it. And you can open up Submitted and click on it. And look at this. So this is letting you know what's going on. What's my progress? Well, you have submitted four out of four files. And you can see your little avatar down here. And you get a blue check mark because you've finished these things. These other reviewers haven't. And you could actually switch this over to all users progress to see what's going on there. And you can see that the status of all these files is still open, which means if you forget to do something, that's OK. You can click on it still because it's still in an open state and you can make more changes in here and you can just keep submitting. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty easy editor. It's a pretty easy system. Just open things up, make your changes, make your comments, click submit, and you're done. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you next time.